I'm so happy to, uh, to be here sharing my story and walking your talk. And, and since I know myself, I'm really curious about knowing other cultures and people have stories. So let me tell you a life story. We are in Sao Paulo, 2003. Um, I'm working in a multinational company just with executives. And I'm in the middle of the meeting, just with the president of the Latin America, all the executives planning all the strategies for the next year. We were talking about um, pricing, say, uh, increase the sales and products, numbers, numbers, and numbers. And I was questioning myself. This is what I want to be. This is what of the future that I want to, to build. This is what my life gonna be. This works reflects who I am. Something was missing. I wanted to work with people and not numbers. Then I went to, uh, I went to do a volunteer work in, in Sao Paulo, Brazil, inside a prison for young girls called Fundação Casa. And it was a really special day, <laughs> then changed my life. Um, I don't know about you, if, uh, what you came to your mind when you think about prisoners, but when I was there, I was with all my prejudices and all media images and Hollywood and Orange is New Black. And, and when I arrived there, I was shocked. It was just girls. Girls like me at the time. I was 20 years old. And they were using the same hairstyle like I'm using now. They were having some conversation, like in the end of the class. They told me about boys, how they want to study and finish their study, how they want to build a family someday. And these conversations change everything and make me realize one important thing. There is no difference between any of us. We just had the different uh, opportunities to make a different choices. So, and I knew if those girls could somehow close their eyes um, and find some peaceful place inside themselves, I knew everybody could do the same. So I was teaching them yoga. As I was stepping out of the air, I noticed that another Renata was coming out of the prison. This encounter um, made me a new purpose in life. It's been 14 years that I have been teaching yoga for these girls. More than 900 girls have been taking yoga classes with me. And this, and this moment made me realize one really important thing. We need to align ourselves with our purpose. And I know that questioning times and chaos are opportunity for me, for us, to honoring ourselves, who we are. And then, um, in the beginning of this year, uh, I did a yoga retreat inside the prison, me and another volunteer, a full day of yoga, meditation, a conversation about acceptance, self-care, and no violence. And it was pretty amazing. And then I ask in the end of the day, how was the experience for them? And this girls, one of the girls, Kelly, she told me one thing. She never thought 
that she could find a peaceful place inside herself. And during the day, she totally forgot it, that she was inside a prison. And now she had the ability to um, calm her mind or control her thoughts through her breath. So I chose to work with um, programs of self-knowledge, no violence communication, and peace building. Um, this is, I'm making it, this uh, self-knowledge, make it in, uh, accessible for everyone, for leaders, for people in transition in life, and also to vulnerable communities. I want to see a world where people can be happy and peace by being themselves. And happiness is to be comfortable and really relax and with our choices. And happiness starts with self-knowledge. We are everything that we are looking for. So I would like to close this brief speech by making you some questions. Questions that are worth it to spend a lifetime thinking about. Who are you? How do you feel if you accepted yourself 100%? And by being yourself, what is your vision to change the world? Be yourself, and this will change the world. Thank you.